Okay, so welcome to Friday morning, afternoon I should say, or Freya's day, uh, afternoon, it's not a coffee rant, I guess I'll call it my protein rant, protein shake rant, because I got a little workout in today. And it's not really a rant, what I wanted to talk about was just a couple things, if this goes longer than six minutes I'll be um, really surprised, and that is... Uh, gaslighting okay that is nonsensical lies and the reason why I'm talking about this it's actually it's actually personal but it's on a, on a big level since 2020 we have seen a lot of gaslighting I mean and it's so common for anyone watching these videos you probably know what gaslighting is and gas if you don't basically it's when someone tries to get you to believe you didn't see what you seen or you did see what you didn't see they try to get you to doubt your own reality. It's a game they play. And we see on the big level that, uh, you know, the ruling class, the predator class has done that. They do it over and over. Uh, even in their pretend dialectics as they uh, fight with one another, they're sociopathic, narcissistic, you know, psychos, liars. Um, and, and they tell these lies that they know you know are lies and they still tell them. They don't care. It's because they don't respect you. Uh, all you, all one needs to do is, you know, you look at any Senate hearing where they're asking rhetorical questions and someone's trying to answer it and they get interrupted. It's, it's a total, total lack of disrespect. They don't respect us whatsoever. So when someone is telling you something that nonsensical, it's, it's out of, you know, obviously they don't give a shit about you. We know this from them, right? But what happens when it's a little closer to home? You know, the first the term gaslighting came out of a 1930-something movie where a husband was literally making his wife doubt her reality. So more often than not, this is usually a person close to you. It's uh, These lies come to you from friends and family. These nonsensical lies. And I'm talking... The kind of lies where they know you know that they're lying and they still don't change their story. They try to gaslight you, okay? Make you feel nuts. So what does that mean? What does that usually mean on a, on a smaller level? We know on a governmental big level when they're, what they're doing to us, we've seen it for the last three years, that they care very little about us. We're human cattle to them. But on a, on a smaller level, it's still very important, especially because of what's happening on a bigger level, for us to call someone out on it and not let up on it if it's someone like a family member, you know, a spouse, a brother, sister, okay, a good friend. Call them the fuck out on it. And if need be, put them out of your life. But there's complications. Complications could arise. Understand what it means when someone is telling you some crazy nonsensical shit and you know it's a fucking lie and they know you know it's a lie. What it generally means is they don't respect you. They might actually harbor outright ill intent and resentment of you. Um, they'll def definitely never validate anything from you. But the lack of respect for you the lack of validation from you. I mean, the, the complete lack and insult to your intelligence that they know they're doing by uh, continuing to lie when they know you know they're lying. It, it shows a real disdain that they have for you, a real resentment, no respect. And I'm not talking about that kid punk respect that people want and they never did nothing to earn their respect. I'm talking about some type of ingrained, for whatever reason, resentment. And this happens. Familiarity breeds contempt. But what, ha what, what, what does it mean? What are the consequences of that now if it's not called out? So I was thinking about it. And, you know, we're entering a stage in history where we got a lot of things coming. Okay? And if you have somebody in your life, and I do... <laughs> who uh, is telling you some nonsensical fucking lie, 
you have to be worried about, especially when there's all other people involved that you love and care about. It's not as some. It's not always as simple as just putting them out of your life. Because if they have resentment of you and no respect for you, are they going to actually listen to you or believe you when you're telling them something for their safety or the safety of mutual people that you love? Okay? You have to call them out for what it is. And if you have to put them out of your life, put them out of your life. But nowadays the complication lies in you may not be able to put them out of your life just as easily. Um, just understand if they don't respect you, they're not going to listen to you. They're not going to believe you when you're trying to warn them that the boogeyman is going to be knocking at the gate. Okay? So that's just something to put out there, something that I had going on in my personal life. And it's funny, everything's fractal. The world's fractal, the government's fractal, the universe is fractal. So what happens in the big scheme of things does happen in the small scheme of our lives. But when it's the government doing it to us, we already know they don't give a fuck about us. When it's, you know, somebody who just has some kind of resentment for you, normally you could be like, all right, so long. Hasta la vista. Get the fuck out of my life. I have no problem doing that. But there are complications because if they don't respect you, they're not going to believe you. And when you got mutual people you love involved, uh... That could become an issue. So what I'm saying is, is me personally, I don't let people off the hook. Um, I just fucking won't. And if I have any triggers left, my biggest trigger for me, that does have to do with psyops and lies and, um, you know, manipulations and shit like that. Even if it's for my own good, I am completely... Uh, like repelled by anything that's contrived, contrite, whatever, whatever word you want to use for it. Anything that is obviously staged, any street theater, I pick up on it instantly. And when people are doing that to you in the government, they have absolutely no respect and they're purposely wanting to insult your intelligence. Sometimes you can let people get away with it. Sometimes I say speak right up, right up then and there and put a stop to it immediately. Because the consequences of not doing that in your personal life right now could be a little bit more grave than they were at one point in time. When you know, it was just as simple as love yourself and put them out of your life. It's, it's a little bit different. There's more, um, there's a little more nuances to it now when you need them to believe your warnings for what the fuck's coming up. Anyway, that was my Friday. I don't know if that makes any sense to anybody, but that's my... Oh, I got a friend calling me. Anyway, peace out, man. Have a good weekend, guys. Till my next little rant or whatever you want to call it.